The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep, with a divine wind sweeping over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that light was good, and God divided light from darkness. God called light day, and darkness he called night. Evening came, and morning came the first day. God said, let there be a vault through the middle of the waters to divide the waters in two. And so it was. God made the vault, and it divided the waters under the vault from the waters over the vault. God called the vault heaven. Evening came, and morning came, the second day. God said, let the waters under heaven come together into a single mass, and let dry land appear. And so it was. God called the dry land earth and the mass of waters seas. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and fruit trees on earth, bearing fruit with their seed inside, each corresponding to its own species. And so it was. The earth produced vegetation, the various kinds of seed-bearing plants and the fruit trees with seed inside, each corresponding to its own species. God saw that it was good. Evening came and morning came the third day. God said, let there be lights in the vault of heaven to divide day from night and let them indicate festivals, days and years. Let them be lights in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth. And so it was. God made the two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, the smaller light to govern the night, and the stars. God set them in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to divide light from darkness. God saw that it was good. Evening came, and morning came, the fourth day. And our response is taken from Psalm 104. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Yahweh, my God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and splendor, wearing the light as a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You fixed the earth on its foundations. Forever and ever it shall not be shaken. You covered it with the deep like a garment, the waters overtopping the mountains. In the ravines, you opened up springs, running down between the mountains. On their banks, the birds of the air make their nests. They sing among the leaves. How countless are your works, Yahweh, all of them made so wisely. The earth is full of your creatures. Many sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless Yahweh, my soul. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Having made the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored there. When they disembarked, people at once recognized him and started hurrying all through the countryside and brought the sick on stretchers to wherever they heard Jesus was. And wherever he went, to village or town or farm, they laid down the sick in the open spaces, begging him to let them touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all those who touched him were saved. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>